Well, I know a lot of the professionals out there watching my videos on my channel probably already know the information that's gonna be in this video, but how about you uh, novice or amateur type people that don't know this? You can repair a connector, like in this situation, on an Audi that has broken and you've broken the clip. You need to try to learn how to get them things off without breaking them, unlike this guy right here. But you can quite simply go down to your local salvage yard Pull off a wiring connector, and I'm going to show you how to replace them wires without butt connecting them, which is going to leave you a solid connection and give you many more years, if not decades, of use. And for those of you that are not already a part of my channel, my name is Clay with the Clay Way in Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Michigan. If you dig this video, check out my tips and tricks playlist. You're going to absolutely love it. And if I help you out at nighttime, turn the volume down and put on one of them sweet playlists and you won't even have to listen to my mouth run. Please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and give me them sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, I answer them for absolutely free. I can't help you with that old baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you with your whip. You can look me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I try to answer everyone that I possibly can for as long as I can. And remember, no matter what it is in life, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. I'm with the video. Okay, so if you folks are like me, doesn't necessarily mean you're dumb, but I have been doing this long enough to know better than to break one of these. And it's only because every time I do one of these stupid things, it's like a year in between me working on one and I forget how the clips are supposed to go. Usually I try to lift them up with the pick tool to release them because they sit on these connectors really super well. But because this is YouTube, it gives me the opportunity to show you fuckers. But because this is YouTube and it gives me the opportunity to show you guys and ladies out there how to fix these things uh, and replace them without getting uh, the Audi dealership all up inside your prison purse, pulling out all sorts of $100 bills that you may or may not have that you need to feed the children. You may or may not be looking at that clip asking yourself, did he try to glue that thing in there? The answer is hell yeah, I did. I don't like spending money or wasting my time. But I did double that because gluing it in there did not work. So the good thing about Audi and Volkswagen is several of the connectors are identical so like in this situation we're working on a fuel pump and this is the connector for a spark plug coil and with it being a spark plug coil that just means that we could take it off and we could simply butt connect the wires into there but if we look closely at the wires they're different gauges so that leads me to think of one couple different things I can do one I could just run with these smaller wires because the power wires are you know they're a little bit bigger on this coil because they deliver more amperage which won't hurt but we'd prefer to have the same gauge wires and since this just wouldn't clip down properly and hold down properly I think we could pull the wires out of here and pull them out of here and replace them and obviously you see that I've got this tool inside here and then they sell these things. This is a Matco one, but they sell these just about everywhere. What you do is you stick the two prongs in the tops of there, right above the two metal prongs, and you push forward on the wire and pull it out. As you push forward on it, you're gonna push your tool deeper into here and that will release the tabs, allowing you to hopefully pull each individual wire out one at a time. Now we're gonna start on the broken connector first. The reason that we're gonna do that is, is because what about if we break any of these connectors, you know, cause it is possible to break these little silver things off down inside here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this connector and remove all four wires right here, taking a snapshot of these wires and how they go. And if you look closely at this thing, it's gonna be numbered one, two, three, four. And when we pull the rubber back on this one, it should be numbered one, two, three, four as well. With this type of orientation right here, we should be good to go. And I knew, I knew there was a freaking trick to doing these. For the life of me, I had taken my pen remover tools and I was like, why won't these wires come out? Oh my God. So I finally figured out the trick and I knew there was one. 
you have got to take this little pink thing and we've got to slide it out. If we look, if it'll focus in down there on that outside edge, it's kind of like a little clip. And that little clip slides right off of there, which then allows you to stick your connector remover tool down inside there and remove this plastic broken plug. But it looks like if we take a pick tool and we stick it down inside there, we can probably just pry this over and I love how they got that window there that you would have never really known what the heck that window was for because you might have thought that that was some like clamp spot, but that's pretty cool. So now we can pull that out of there. Oh, dude. That is so sweet. I don't even know if we need to pull it all the way out, but we can. That is freaking awesome. Oh, she Germans, they are very, very smart, yeah. Bloop. No, it does not want to come out. Maybe I need to wiggle it a little bit. Get her up inside there. Make sure that I push my palm up against that so I have that rested on there. And then I can pull it out like this. Now, the thing that we need to keep in mind is the orientation of this noticing that how we pulled it out of the clip the flat side is up on this side and once we get all four of them out we can plug all four of our other ones back in okay so let's say you get caught in this dilemma where this won't come out of here now luckily this is our broken piece we're going to break this out of here i'm assuming the reason it won't come out is because the little wings on here are bent up so they're kind of grabbing it Hopefully once we get it broke apart, we can get it out of there and hopefully we don't have that same problem with this one. Yep, see that's exactly what I did was, is I pulled it and I didn't have it depressed properly, so it bent it up. I'm gonna go ahead and push it back through and I'm gonna bend the panel down so I can get it back out. Okay, so now this part popped off, which is actually just fine because our connectors go up inside there, but we need to make sure that we have it clocked properly where this little elbow's right here on the end for the lock of, for this thing. So when we go to install that, bada boom, bada bing, insert our wires into the proper location and we should have a new connector that is working soundly and staying together properly. Now we wanna make sure that we don't push our rubbers through. I did push one of them all the way through and it was kind of a pain in the butt to get it back down on there. But now we can slide our little clip head back on there and then slide our clip on the side and we should have a fixed connector. Now, one thing that I did not notice until I went to put this back together was the block sizes on the back side of here are smaller than they were there. So we need to make sure the interior of this is correct. Basically, luckily that this was the only piece of that that I did not utterly destroy with carnage and mayhem but it does look like we've got a new connector inserted in there and we can repair this properly so what you could have done if you didn't bend up your tab like i did on this one you could have just took this part off and used this once you separated all the pieces but this one came out really easy and this one the original one was still attached to this part right here so i ended up having to snap that off or it just broke off over time or something but anyways looks like we're good now we've got a nice solid tight repair now for practical reasons it would have been better to get the correct wiring connector off of the fuel pump in other year audis and when you pull it off make sure you look at the base of it like i showed you to ensure that these are nearly the same i took this one off of a ignition coil and it wasn't exactly right. And I guess I got lucky that this broke off of the other one and it was the only part that I didn't break or I wouldn't have been able to make this connection here. I ended up having to cut the blue tabs off because I made a mistake and I didn't get it locked down properly the first time. So what I'm gonna do to address that is I'm just gonna use some black silicone and put it down in here because on the top of this particular gas tank, it could get some elements splashed up inside there, but this is a very practical, sensible repair that you can do by just going out to your local own, pick your own part, or even 
your local junkyard. They're not going to take the time to go out and cut you a wiring harness off of this, but you know, as simple as it is to actually get to one of these fuel pumps, it only takes you a matter of minutes to cut the harness off. Hopefully that video helped you out and you learned a little something that you may or may not have already known. I thought these Audi clips are kind of a little bit particular and a little bit weirder than other ones, so that's why I made this video. Remember, don't be the next to them, be the absolute first to you, and if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. God bless, folks. Have the best of days.